So okay. Tim, how's your day going so far, mate? Uh, gone a little bit expensive. What, what's the, what do you mean? We had a little nuttier. Yeah, I was in that. Have you got you much soup? Involved in I was involved in that. So let's have a look at what happened. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. There's my Shadow 800, well what used to be my Shadow 800, I missing a wingtip, banana battery and also missing the Runcam Eagle 2, which decided to bail out before it even hit the ground. And here's Tim's plane, which will need a little bit of polish, it's a bit of cutting compound on this piece, it's really badly yeah. scuffed. And apart from that, no, she's perfectly fine. And a half a litre of CA glue, and yeah. we'll be back together. But look how well the foamy stood up compared to the... Well, no, the foamy's pretty rooted, Ron. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Let's have a closer still, look at the foamy. It still mm. looks like a plane. Look, look, at, look, it's all cracked and structurally destroyed. Oh, that's so great. There's a bit of hot glue. The only thing that really makes me cry is I, I bent a prop. Did you? Yeah, I did, look. Oh, shit. It's no good. Oh, no, this blade's going to come right off. But, but luckily, my engine's all right. Luckily, apart from well, the muffler. Except for the muffler. But, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's nothing, eh? The cranks are right, no broken cranks. No, it landed in soft, so soft soil, so. Yeah. Well, well, the impact must have been quite severe, because look at the compression marks on the leading edge of that wing. The moment, the, oh, yeah. I think oh, the impact, you lost your battery. Didn't you, didn't So here's the quad after that landing when the battery dumped. These A-spec batteries, honestly, they're crap. Wouldn't recommend them to anyone. Waste of money. I bought these and they always let me down. Um, the quad itself, it landed on that arm and the motor's got a little bit of a ding in it there. Actually, is it tight? No, it's just hitting. Going to rip the ESCs because the props obviously came down pretty flat, I think, and the prop blades cut the tape to hold the ESCs on. Um, and apart from that, it's just that the front cam split and the flight controller or standoffs have broken. And that's really all that happened. It's a pretty tough frame, really, because that was like 100 feet straight onto the tarmac. And I'm happy with that.